I have a huge crush on you. This could be a problem. Sarah Burgess is the author of the scripts on our show. We first met her when she was a younger playwright. I came to this project through Brad and Nina, having seen my theater work. She'd written a play called Dry Powder. It was the second play she'd written out of drama school. And at the center, there were these frustrating women who were the exact right template for the tone of our show. How many times are we going to talk about this? Everyone we know is going to read this. Her use of language is searing and satiric. Mrs. Bush would rather have been catheterized than use the communal ladies' room. But also emotionally true. DC gets lonely fast. Now you and I can be miserable together. She has a lot of insight into DC and into politics, and she got to witness it firsthand. I'm in the eye of a hurricane. I grew up in the suburbs of Washington, DC. My parents, they actually worked at the Pentagon. My mom would take me to her office in the Navy counter drug unit on Take Your Daughter to Work Day. It was like a very sort of classic DC childhood of a certain type. So the places and the people of this story are very familiar to me. The young person who comes to DC excited to work in government. You get to work in the West Wing as of this morning. The bureaucrat who feels invisible. What's gonna happen to me? The lawyers, politicians, narrow partisan agendas at the time. He's Bill Clinton. He'll lie. I put a lot of effort into getting that right. All roads lead to Hillary Rodham Clinton to make something engrossing and also historically accurate. Just the amount of research she must have had to do, it's really impressive. You lied to me. I don't want to hurt you. Get out! Some of the bigger Bill stuff, we've worked together and drawn from the original material, the stuff that he did. They won't stop until I give in and leave office. Well, that's not happening. She's super clever. The way she discusses scenes with us, she elevates every page that she touches. He lost interest. And when he ever did call me, it was probably just because he wanted to keep me quiet through the election. She has an extraordinary way of writing something hefty and muscular. But with a female lens and heart, we can fix this. The dialogue is good and smart and rings true. And that's so for every character. And I do not know how she does it. I've read every book about this. I've read probably almost every major news article from the time. and. It never focuses on the women who were actually at the center of the story. There are the famous politicians and their wives. We could lose everything that we have fought for. It was very important to me to focus on the story of these less powerful people in a way that will make you feel listened to, finally. My life is over. If I could have Sarah Burgess write everything I do for the foreseeable future, I would be the luckiest actress on the planet. It might be the greatest writing I've ever had.